Being a Mandalorian is not just learning about how to fight. You also have to know how to navigate the galaxy. As we start, we have a character who's dealing with both the ramifications of where his actions and at the end of, of season two and then taking off his helmet, um, but also this being reunited with Grogu. This is the one that you saved? You are as its father. <laughs> he's growing up. He grows slow, but he does grow up. And he also, you know, there's a lot happened in the 50 years before we met him, too. And we're learning a little bit about that in each season of each show as we get little flashbacks. It takes four people, five people to operate. It's a puppet, but there's also re remote controls that run all the facial expressions and the ears and the movement. And when you hold that puppet and they're operating it, you swear you're looking at a real a living creature. But at home, I have early prototypes that that um, Legacy made of mm -hmm. of the paint and the and the skin. So they, it's a sculpted one I have in my house. I also buy a lot of the stuff because there's stuff that comes out <laughs> I don't even know. There were no less than five women in my suit this year. We want this show to look and feel as authentic as possible. I would be watching one of the other women in the suit and giving them direction and making sure that it's exactly the way I would do it as well. So um, there is ownership for many women in this role right now. There's always a big plan. I always have big whiteboards and, yes. you know, John will come in and I'll sit there and start going over the map of it all. Like it's, you know, following a detective thread and then we'll figure out it started off like this, now. and it gets bigger and bigger. <laughs>